So next thing I wanted to do is finally getting to our uh, environment concepting uh, process. And as you can see, I created this pretty dope um, water effect, which is I just creating by this circle water I download from, uh, well, the same PNG. And I was using a, a bit, well, technique to create this uh, pretty dope effect. Um, you can just use it, you know, if you download the file. And uh, yeah, I was download. Also, I tried finding another statue sculpting, sculpting model from. Uh, it's called a uh, real hunter, from the 3D scan. You know, it's pretty cool, and I think this is literally pretty good, you know, trips, uh, and tips, which is uh, when we want creating a very dynamic frame at the moment. What can we do is just try to looking for something also pretty dynamic. Uh, as our reference, or just like me, I just directly use it. You know, like the statue. There's a many statues that are just, you know, they are masterpiece. They are the heritage of all mankind. It's just, you know, amazing. They are the proportion, the dynamic, the energy, everything just so, so cool. It's just, and I, I what I do is just try to combine those very cool elements and bring them together to creating something, you know, to step on on top of the uh, giant's shoulder, and yeah, as you can see, I actually didn't do much thing. I just place a character, play something, and actually our this um this concept uh painting is already pretty pretty dynamic and dramatic. More is pretty dramatic, right? You can. I'm tell this point. I'm actually, I'm already pretty happy. I just feel like, ah, you know, what I'm doing is just try to scatter a few things here and there, and uh, I think I'm fine. You know, uh, right now I'm trying to looking at the scene from different distance and different camera angle. You know, and one thing for sure, which is always very important thing, which is we wanted to see, or oh, oh, I wanted to create a moment that. Kind of helping the audience to get into the feeling what the 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 point of what body look like. You, you remember body, you know our character, our hero guy. Uh, he, he I wanted to see this environment from his point of view. You know, a very dramatic moment. He he going to using his water bender. Well, maybe it's magic, or you can say some special power to 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 you know. I don't know. I kind of don't show what what he going to do. You know, he going to fight with this giant statue, or or, or or you know, it's just a very intense fighting scene. You know, you can feel. I wanted to make the feeling of something going to happen. And yeah, I'm now using this push it. So you may ask, wondering like, okay, uh, this may look great, but why I'm doing this, right? Uh, well, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm adding a push it between a rock. And between those things, actually, um, I am creating another layer of uh death of or I am creating an overlapping effect, and I know it is a kind of settled for now, but I think you will get what I'm doing um later on. So yeah, overall, I I just tried to um, well, excuse me. Okay, I'm back. I tried to. In in the foreground, I tried to creating a blocking, uh, uh to block our uh, our uh, visual, you know, to to preventing our eye to look at look out of our canvas. And right now, I was creating a, 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 another cube to blocking and cast shadow for our foreground. As you can see, the look is dramatically changing because um I wanted to our uh, I I think I feel like foreground is. Kind of like a, a indicator to tell the audience what it is, but uh, I we I wanted to reduce the contrast so uh, uh we can see background better. And now I am creating. Well, if you see my first uh video of this series, right now what I'm doing is just I'm creating a lot of elements to kind of sort of tell the audience like, hey, you see the foreground. We got this kind of uh, ruin architecture, right? Now 
this element are getting, getting pushed into the background, pushed into the background. So it's like I kind of indicating there is plenty of space in the background, in the background. So, uh, you know, our brain will automatically get idea of, oh man, there's something in the foreground. And, you know, along with the extending of the space, you know, those elements kind of suggesting, yeah, of course, there is a plenty of room at the, in the background, you know. So, uh, by I just moving thing around, you know, basically what I'm doing, just moving thing around and just scatter thing around until it looks like dope, you know, just, um, I have something in the foreground and I duplicate it and put using the same element in the background. And maybe, you know, later on, I will push those elements into a background. So it's like, you know, automatically, automatically I creating a sense of death. And of course, this shadow in the foreground is still pretty important. You know, the, uh, it helping for sure is going to help in the country to creating this look of foreground, background and background very very good you know to generate this effect as you can see right now um yeah you know something in right something in left right now i'm trying to do is still kind of like blocking the the friend blocking the composition i tried to block block your eye preventing your eye to look around you know i i, I kind of like using something to suggest in the space at the same time to try to make your eye to look into the center of the canvas and, and, and you know kind of you uh put, you just using bunch shape and phone you know uh, uh to block your eye and, and right now i i can't do a little pen over to uh, uh well pre this is what i mean the foreground background uh, foreground background background which is you see i using a, a, a cube to block uh, the, the the sunlight and cast the shadow right and I creating this very good dark foreground, and I creating I going to, you know, and and now I have a dark foreground, and I next time what I'm gonna do is, you know, make uh, the background uh had a gray, uh, uh the value grouping is a bit great, and the background is going to be a lot lighter, you know, I can, I creating this gradient, and it, it is very important gradient. And right now I'm going to do a little pan over to tell a little bit about what I'm trying to do you know? and I'm going to use a mispass to help me to tell maybe tell this idea better uh oh um about mispass I will talk about I will talk about the render setting a bit more later on and yep as you can see uh let me adjusting some weird effect on, happen on the mispass so you can see what I'm uh, trying to do better. So yeah, this is something when I come creating this uh, composting and just you know moving thing around, this is exactly what I'm trying to do. What I'm thinking, which is I try to think about their shape, their silhouette, and also uh, of course I am think about the uh, uh, um, the layering, which is the foreground and the background and the background. By and, and as you can see, I separate them by value which is in the foreground is going to be very dark and background is gray and the background is uh, 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 well is white and now I turn background into red so we can see the positive shape and negative shape better and yeah as you can see when we creating uh, um, we uh, we got this uh, when we can see negative and positive shape better we can see the rhythm of positive shape and the negative shape oh uh wrong wrong layer <laughs> yeah it's kind of like a mountain right think about this like mountain um it's not a, a bad mountain i would say it's, it's it's okay it's pretty okay but 
actually the, the I think what can I do is increasing this mountain to make it more dramatic. You see, make taller, taller part, taller uh uh mountain taller, and make uh, the 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 small mountain just smaller. You know, it's like uh think about this is some kind of music. You know, if this is a uh, uh, music, then this is the sound wave. The way of the sun. The first one, uh, the, the second one is just much more stronger, you know. So, yeah. Uh, basically, I, I, uh, I have my, uh, I have a, a direction I give myself, which is I want to push this kind of uh, a feeling to mad more. Dram- I want to push our thing more. Uh, epic. I wanted to push a, a version into B version. So how to do it, right? How can I do it? Um, uh, first of all, of course, in if I make this uh background element, I if I tweak them, I I move them into foreground. Yeah, as you can see, I block in the composition. Is a, a a lot more dramatic, right? Is it is a, a much more I I make the 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 negative shade and the positive shade just much more uh, uh dramatic and also I creating another effect which is I am creating a linear pers- perspective effect. So if I do the same thing on the left, it's going to have a similar effect because I got yeah. Here, this kind of feeling, yeah, and and the guiding our eye into center, right? And of course, late. This is this is exactly what I'm trying to do. Um. So next is like I'm going to, uh. Well, we we'll just do it. You know. And right now, I give myself some kind of art version. I just, I sort of figure figure something out. Um. But of course, um. Actually, when I'm not recording, I'm doing another, you know, more dramatic solution, which is make this. But it's still, I'm follow this. This is my uh, methodology. Um, well, the 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 principle really guide me. You know, it, it, I, I using every day when I even when I'm working and, and it, every minute just, I think about this all the time. I just think about oh man, how to make how I make it more dramatic, more epic. How can I creating more feeling? You know, the kind of uh, uh more space. You know, the kind of uh, uh just make it the thing more epic, uh, and people can understand it. And get a feeling of wow, this is just you know, super super dope, you know, just uh commercial, you know. But of uh, of course, it also because what I'm trying to do is kind of some kind of commercial art, you know. It's pack on information. I try to do something like Marvel movie, you know, and I like Marvel movies, so it, it is it, maybe it's not your goal, but uh, uh for entertainment, this exact this is exactly what we need to do to do, you know, just creating, just you know, make make it. Make more pakong, you know. Make make, um, and just increasing the uh, um the strength of the uh uh simulation. Uh, how to say? It? Just um, more more feeling. Uh, of uh, how to say it? Um, stimulate. Yeah, yeah. Make it more stimulate. And yeah, I think. This is pretty much this chapter, and I see you next chapter.